And welcome back everyone, Larry here for our continuing Settlement Survival Extreme series. And boy, did I get a lot of stuff accomplished since the last time. Tell you what, let's go ahead and let's get into the skills. I just picked up soap and we have, the, of course, our reservoirs, which we had from the previous episode. But I went ahead, I've not touched trade yet because simply we're just not at that point. I have all my terraforming, which as you know, so that's worked out real well. Construction wise, definitely with all the rebuilding I had to do, you know, recycling's a must. Uh, I did pick up cut stone because, you know, we have tornadoes and all that. In fact, we got our very first tornado coming up and I see we got a second animal plague getting ready to hit us. That's no good. I did pick up reeds. I really haven't done anything with it, but I did run through agriculture to pick up farming efficiency. This is a great passive buff, which of course gets all your farmers to work twice as fast. So if you're having food issues, oh, it's mandatory. You definitely want to get that. Uh, logistics wise, I did pick up weaving and I did pick up knitting. Uh, haven't done anything with them yet, but those were skills that we needed to get unlocked. I am no longer, you know, with how they changed the game, now the, the meat processing, you know, does your chops and all that, but you don't have to rely on it to uh, get fat because that's now done at the pasture. So life is great. I also picked up baskets and the pocket expansion because now I got a plus 80 to all my settlers and that's what I wanted. Unfortunately, am I making baskets right now? No, but you know, we have to, we have to make the right choices if we're going to keep on growing. And then I just had to fire up our new coal mine because this one ran out and I didn't notice it. So yeah. We're kind of hurting on <laughs> the fuel, but my bad, I overlooked it. Now, I did do a bunch of change-ups in the map because I did have multiple uh, reservoirs here, but I went ahead and took those out. I put in the stoneworks here, then of course more housing. But right now, I'm not hurting for housing, so I'm okay with that. Now, the one thing I see in a lot of people's playthroughs is they will put... They're farming and they're housing far away from each other. The closer you can get your housing to your fields or to any of your employers is exactly what you want to do. Now, I'm going to go ahead and turn this distillery on because we do have enough people. Because we were doing okay. Oh, but have you noticed how they've done things? Like this distillery will will allow it will use either potatoes or agave if you have both of these things selected so i'm just going to have it use agave it is so cool that they have added that to the game but you better remember to hit select or nothing's going to happen for you uh-oh tornado time now we started on the right side of the map it's always been notorious that tornadoes start on the left side. So it's going to be interesting where this thing tracks. Ooh, we have a... I'm going to go ahead and burn up some tools to get that. Let's see what happens. But okay, let's get into uh, this tornado and see where it tracks. I'm thinking it's just going to stay over on the left side and we don't have any no issues and that's exactly what it's doing so food for thought you may want to if you can not all maps can you do this because you know all your uh, bonus things for like your first seeds your first animal or all the animals are on this side versus the right side you know it's something to think about but this tornado is slowly trying to get over here, but it just can't do it. So, well, 
It is, it's trying its darndest to get over to us. Now we know. Okay, we have to stay to the right and we can go south. But whatever we do, going north or west, we're going to have to make sure everything's reinforced. So we can laugh at this tornado. Ba, ha, ha. You didn't get us. <laughs> oh, this graveyard's finally filled up, so we better uh, demo this, even though we have this graveyard ready to go. And it's this is how you do it, just so you know where you don't have to have a jillion graveyards laying around. Just alternate. You don't, you know, if you want to go the, the huge two size cemetery is great i understand but i do 11 by 11s and the reason why i do 11 by 11s is i get the maximum amount of plots in the cemetery there's no spacing around so you basically get all the plots available so if i'd go a 12 by 12 there's a good chance there's just going to be space and that's no good you want to really maximize what we can get now when we hit a hundred people we did uh, get another administrator and the cool thing is we have cows we have moo cows so that's gonna help us uh, in our leather production all that fun stuff I just hope <laughs> that this animal plague that's coming does not hurt our cows and I'll show you a really neat trick to get rid of animal plague as soon as it hits. Now, food-wise, we're still not doing that great. And we did lose some people. Because we're now down to only two. So that's not a good thing. Up here. Notice how we have the merchant ship coming. If you notice, I do not have anything available for merchants. You know, I'm still not doing trading. And the reason why I don't trade with him uh, is because they can bring in the plague. And that is no good. I mean, plague is bad. So that's just something that you just don't want to deal with. We got our gooses. Gooses on the loosies. So we'll go, go ahead and open up another pasture. Gotta love the pastures. And it's if I can find the pastures. There we go. And of course, I'm always doing my 20 by 20. And it is going to be great when we get the, the better pastures through trade. So now I know I need to open up more stuff here and there's no oh you know why our fuel suffering owie i did not think of putting in a road here that was my bad so let's go ahead and let's get a stone road put in and we'll just take it straight off Yeah, we'll do it like here and here. And we will go ahead and throw this there. I'll go ahead and dump this. And let's go ahead and put in a larger storage right in here. And 8x8 should work. And we have more people that want housing, so we'll go ahead and get these unlocked. And we still have not recovered our lumber supply. So they're a little unhappy, but we lost people in our forest farms, so that kind of hurt as well. <laughs> but now that we don't have to worry about, or uh oh, animal plague, which one? Which one has the animal plague? 
Okay. Oh, man. Our cows have the animal plague. This. I'm going to cut it down to one. Now. I'm going to pause this one. Bring them over to the cows. And hopefully they will slaughter the cow that... Oh, I'll tell you what. Let's see if they get the first cow okay. Or am I going to lose the herd? Come on. Oh, I'm going to lose the whole herd. Oh, that is such a bummer. Okay, so we'll just convert it over to geese. But we will... Once the geese are here... We'll turn this one back on and we'll keep this one paused. Well, that was very unfortunate, but that's what happens. And that's what I've been dealing with through this whole game is every time I take a step forward, I get hammered and get thrown two steps back. Wow. What is going on? I have four herbs going and they're still chewing through it. That's crazy. And more people are hungry. I know I'm in this catch 22 of trying to keep up with food production because we are not making any substantial food. And until I bite the bullet to start making better food, we're going to be in trouble. But I also rely on our animals to do a little bit more for us. And right now, we're not getting much food out of them. We're getting everything else but food. Hopefully... We will get something out of the out of these geese. It would be nice to have turkeys because turkeys and pigs are huge, huge food producers. Now another skill that I have not gone for is our fish. Because fish, they're great. But when we're sitting there looking at it and we go into agriculture, I have to jump all the way down. To these two and you know what I think I will I think we're at a point where I need to get this under control but the whole point was to get out of the one vicious cycle we were in and that was no health and just everything was falling apart while things aren't falling apart anymore, we're just struggling a little bit. <laughs> and that's okay. And we can fix this by... I will go ahead and... Oh, but then I have to throw in a church as well if I put more housing in over here. What's this one? This one is... Okay, that's for beverage only. And we did lose this person. Go ahead and replace them. So I do not want to run out of that. And they're going to give me grief that we have so many people, I don't have enough coal production. How much you want to bet this is what's happening? Yeah, this is going to be a pain. And they're going to want more iron. Hmm. Okie dokie. That's all well and good. We can 
we can survive this. And let's go ahead and we'll put in some more beans over here. But with the migrants coming, we just might be able to get something worked out here since they're going to arrive before planting season. I know it's going to hurt, but I don't know what else to do. Now these people, we're having babies or we're having kids. Okay, students. This is what irritates me. How the game punishes you for, for not going up the education tree. I'm not mad at the devs for it. I, I get what they're doing. It's just really, I don't want to deal with this. And I'm going to get rid of this house. This house makes no sense. And this is what, five wide? Yeah, this is five. So let us... We'll throw these houses right here. And more students. Yeah. Oh, they're killing me. They're absolutely killing me. And do I have a school over here? I don't think I do. And I can get a school in. I should be able to. Yeah. So we'll throw a school there. And I didn't... Okay, there's that well. That won't give me any space. That's exactly three. I guess it's going to become storage. I'm okay with that. A little small storage yard right there. That won't hurt anybody. And we'll go ahead and throw in some uh, roads here. Okay, so I'm not liking this. I'm not liking it whatsoever. But I'll throw this road in here. I'll figure something to put in here. Probably. Oh, what would be something? Maybe uh, when we get uh, up another level. We can go ahead and tie in some type of food making over here. And we'll just go ahead and I kind of foobarred how I did all this. It's kind of a waste of space. But we'll throw these in here. Because we're going to be doing more expansion out here. Okay. Immigrants have arrived, so I better take care of that. 14 immigrants. Now, do we have anybody that's plagued? And of course, we have a drought. Okay, nobody is sick, so that's good. We have our tech point, so we'll go ahead and go into agriculture. We'll pop the fish nets and we'll bounce to uh, fishing. Because then I can start spotting down some fish. And that'll give us food 24-7. And that'll help out our food issue. 
because that's the one big problem with fields is they're only good for a certain time of the year and then you have to rely on it and that's just no good and this is June I don't think that's gonna help us I don't think anything's gonna get taken care of but we will go ahead and we will try You know which one I should do? Let us... This is all a faster growing crop. So this may work out. We will have to see, but they're gonna need three people. Maybe that will take care of things for us. I doubt it. But we'll see. I better put a road in for these. And we should put in some type of storage close to here. And I tell you what, we'll just throw in a storage right here for the heck of it. Some type of storage would be good. But they just might. They just might get something out of this. It's going to be interesting to see. Nice little test here. If... If in doubt, test. I don't, I really don't think these agave are going to do anything. I think the people live too far away as well. Plus we have people starving. And our trees still have not really gone up. Fuel, we're still sucking wind. So we're going to have to get another mine going. We need to hack off a couple there. So terraforming we do. Voila. And we'll throw in a road. That means we're going to go a little bit larger on these, which I don't want to do, but hey, as I say, it is what it is. But that should solve the issue. And our clothing has gone down because I haven't done any expansion on clothing. So we're going to go ahead and open that up. I should also put a mine over here for coal as well. 
How's our Corey doing? I don't know if Corey's doing fine. I'm thinking maybe we should put a mine over here. Because I would like to have two operational coal mines. That would be kind of sweet. Let's pause this and see what type of room we've got over here before I start chopping this hill up too badly. So I can get one. Okay, so we can get something there. How far can we go? It's about there. We're just not going to be able to get four mines in. So, I've learned my lesson on this. We will go, we'll take it out to about here. Because if we can get uh, storage up here, instead of just hacking off the, the mountain, Going with storage would make life so much easier. But I think we've, we're pretty good right now. Everything's going uh, not perfectly to plan, but we're growing. And hopefully we're going to be able to start getting into some fabulous stuff in the next episode. So, hopefully you're having a great day, because I know I am. And, of course, if you like Settlement Survival, uh, please like the video. Let people know about it. That's what that little like button does. And, of course, you're always welcome to uh, subscribe to the channel. I'm Larry, and I will talk to you in the next episode. Bye!